these women are so mad to hear themselves talk. It's hilarious because the soft guys era men are saying the exact same thing these women are saying. They expect special treatment but don't want to return the favor. It's no wonder why more and more men are going overseas. Dating in the West is done. We done with the whole masculine provider male era. We're in our soft guy era. So one of my girlfriends just brought me to Chipotle and I'm like, what are we doing here? Do I look like the type of man that eats at Chipotle? Like show some respect. So then she took me to Applebee's and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I Ubered out of there. Kings, know your worth. Don't let these girls take you to these trash restaurants. Like, I wanted a filet mignon. How am I supposed to get that at Applebee's? Do I really look like an Applebee's type of guy? I don't even know. I'll probably give her the silent treatment for like two days. And frankly, it was so stressful that I'm spending the rest of the day burning zero calories. It's my zero calorie day today. Babe, I want some hot chocolate. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies, the men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle. OK, at the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man. Those things are all bad. Put them away. OK, they said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. So I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So... I hope that you get everything that you wanted because ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. Drizzle, drizzle. She is correct. Men have given women exactly what they wanted and they do not like it. Remember men, for a woman to come into your life, she's got to be able to provide and protect you if you need all of your bills paid, let her handle it. If she can't plan dates, open your car door. You need to let her go. Find someone that will. This is too funny. This is... Before we go any further into this, you know why you, you're finding so many women that are finding this hilarious and they're supporting it? Because the same women that put talk down on Passport Bros... The same women that were out there talk about drizzle, drizzle. I mean, I'm talking about a uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. And we're out there talk about toxic masculinity. These were the same women that were talking about these young ladies and calling them pick me's. Remember that? Oh, you, you, you get married. You a pick me. You want a husband. You a pick me. Remember they was putting them down. That's why those women right now, the ones that they was dogging out, now they got something to hang their hat on now, too. That's why you see so many women that were getting put down for being called a pick me. Now they're like, drizzle, drizzle, bitch. Drizzle, drizzle. They're supporting the men 100% because those ladies put them down, talk about you a pick me this, a pick me that, a pick me shit. So all those women that got attacked, they're supporting the, the soft guy movement as well. So do realize that. Don't let that slide by. It's great. I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate that these dudes kicked off the soft guy era. I support the movement 100%. Just look at this. You see, men like to be pampered too just like we do. The joy it brings me to see these beautiful women taking care of their men. This has to be the best uh, trend that ever existed in this uh, era, because now you ladies will understand how ridiculous you sound if the shoe were on the other foot. So no need to get all hell and bent and get mad uh, with the uh, with the gentleman for saying such thing. You see, when, when it came off, 
uh, out of another uh, person's uh, mouth and it happens to be a, a man all of you are so bothered but think about it you guys has been pushing pushing and pushing even for a uh, woman like me who tell you guys don't don't be you know hoeing around no but you guys d decided to report videos that actually give you some advice that this is not how you should be doing and then some of you older lady thought that you 50 you still want to have your standards so high lady go look in the mirror all all <laughs> and worn out nobody want they always want fresh food okay the same if i were to eat fruits and if my fruits has turned bad i probably wouldn't want to eat it so we uh just humble thyself and leave the guys alone. You guys have so many uh outlet to 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 spread hatred towards uh men. So now it's their error. So I support the soft guy error. Drizzle drizzle for shizzle, gentlemen. <laughs> this movement is a wake up call for all men. This next clip you're about to watch is a perfect example of women trying to shame men for wanting better. This is embarrassing for black men. Well, fuck it. I'll hop in then and I'll say the same thing. I am in my soft guy era. Now it's embarrassing for all men that we're holding our standard the exact same way that you have a standard for us. Okay. That's the woman playbook. They'll either call you insecure, they'll call you gay, which is homophobic, don't do that, or they'll try to shame you. Why do women do that? Because that's their internal playbook. They have no, they can't actually make men do anything physically because obviously we're stronger. So throughout history, that's how they've gotten to control men. However, since y'all wanted equal rights and equal pay so bad, and now that you've gotten it, it's only fair that we, don't, we go 50-50 in the relationship, which at this point in the video would invoke you saying, oh, like you're broke, you're a broke, insecure guy, naturally, but I don't know if you could tell, that is my water view. According to y'all, I'm a high value man. Like I'm what y'all want. You want a six figure man over six one that is well endowed. <laughs> but the thing is, Asking for 50-50, like if you guys are like, oh, I'd love to go 50-50 with a man, that's fine. But the thing is y'all are asking for everything provided for, which is, you know, a guy like me could do it. Most guys can't do it, but I could do it. But imagine if a guy said that, a guy like, <laughs> and it just speaks to the ego that y'all have, that y'all think you're all worth a guy paying for everything when you guys make the exact same because that's what you wanted. Another tactic these birds try to use is race to shame men. Race has got nothing to do with men wanting better treatment from their women. It's crazy enough it had to come to this, where it went viral for so many men to be heard. Men, you hold the key to the relationships and marriages. Don't just give it to just any woman. Chapter 1, verse 5. No broke holes. Drizzlations 2, verse 3. If she's not reciprocating energy, cut her off. If she can't do for you what you do for her, cut her off. This is what it means to be in your soft guy era. We stand on business. Shout out to the brothers that put that video together. Shout out to them. Soft guy era 2024. T-shirts coming your way. The Drizzle Drizzle shirts. Oh, we're going to be dropping some Drizzle Drizzle shirts. Oh, we're going to be coming coming out with them soft guy era shirts. Believe you me. He said the narrative is speaking like it's a Discovery Channel. I know, right? <laughs> Drizzlations. <laughs> Chapter 1, verse 1. <laughs> no broke women. <laughs> oh, my God. Shout out to you. He said, Andrea Love Cross, Andrea and I, Andrea Love Crossing Borders. He said, uh, IQ says, he said, uh, I caught almost 400 in savings. I did the math, 100. <laughs> That's right. See what I'm saying? $100 facial, a face, uh, should be a facial. I think it was saying facial. $400, $40 haircut, uh, $15 eyebrows. Gotta get, get hey, brothers. <sighs> I know. I ain't saying you got to have your eyebrows looking like some of our Dominican brothers was like just super perfect. But if your eyebrows looking crazy, crazy, yeah, brother, you need to go ahead and talk to your barber about getting that taken care of along with your beard, bro. Don't just get your beard looking good, but you guys, you still got the Spider-Man, Spider-Man in your head, in your eyebrows. No, nah, man. Don't do that. Take care of your eyebrows, brothers. 
He said sixty dollars on a manicure, pedicure. Got to take it, but dude, I was probably the most anti pedicure brother that you will ever meet in life. I was like, man, I ain't going to pedicure shop. That's where the ladies go, man. Let the ladies have something. That's why I used to say, let's let the ladies have something. Then one day, I was walking in the mall and Chippy Chopper here. <sighs> let me get a pedicure. But it, she got to be fine. So I had a cutie do my feet. Bruh, took about 30 years off my feet. And then I went to the uh, podiatrist for your feet. And I started going there where they really take care of your feet. Some of y'all got tore up feet just because you don't get your feet taken care of. I'm telling you, y'all talking to the most anti-pedicure dude that you ever want to meet. I was, hell no, I'm a dude. Man, I got my feet taken care of. Brand new feet. You will never know how ugly your shit is until you get it done in the after the after results of how young your feet look after you get them feet taken care of bro he ain't lying manicure you got to take care of, dude you can't be giving nobody the finger and you got rough nails come on you can't be all up in there like come on fellas you can't be all all up in there like that all on her g-spot and your nails all toe up full of dirt and everything but you all on her g-spot and then you gonna put yourself in her with all that all the dirt from your nails all in her g no bruh get your nails take care so it'd be smooth when you go up in there you smooth i'm talking we do are we not doing barbershop talk tonight or what are we just gonna play around i'm gonna come back to you iq man you <laughs> Some of y'all try to put y'all hands inside a woman and they get to squirming. And it ain't because it feel good. It because you got a hangnail. You got that little edge coming off the side of your neck. Man, get, if you don't get yourself somewhere, get your nails taken care of so it can be smooth trailing. Smooth trailing toward that G spot. It's these little things y'all got to think of. All right. If you don't do it, don't worry about it. I bet you the next man have it running smooth in there for. I bet no, no, mm, don't worry about getting your nails done, bro. Don't get your feet done, nothing. Don't get no cologne. Don't do nothing. All these are just eyebrows. Keep your eyebrows the way they are. Just, just take care of your beard. You ain't got to do nothing else. You know why? Because it's gonna be a brother. How I used to be, right there, running in your woman, deep, deep with a manicure, hitting G spots with your beat up fingers Let's get that taken care of ain't nothing wrong with us brothers being spoiled because i'm telling you them latin brothers they ain't never got a problem with being spoiled they women love it oh yeah i'm coming out with that drizzle drizzle hey that that right there the drizzleations shirt as well drizzleations one and one chapter one verse one yes sir he said, man, don't get, uh, don't, he said, he said, man, uh, don't have a problem with providing for a woman. Never have. Absolutely. He said, men have a problem with a woman who can't provide for herself, demanding a provider. That's the part. Didn't Neo sing in the song? He said, I will, I want to do for a woman but who can do for herself miss independent the song wasn't about you ain't got nothing it was about you had something and if i if i want to take you somewhere you can still go with me baby but at least i knew that you weren't broke man you got broke chicks out here trying to get flew out man and y'all flying them out too man y'all flying broke chicks out i'm gonna tell you something the flu the few chicks that flew out to see me when i was in the states they pay for their own flight. Yes, they stayed with me, but they paid for their own flight. I remember this one sister, man. She was a six. She was six feet. She was a, I think I mentioned this to you guys. She worked for NASA. She was like, literally, 
This sister was literally a rocket scientist. Chocolate as boy, you talking about chocolate and beautiful, six feet of gorgeous chocolate and a rocket scientist. And she flew out to see your boy. Kid you not? Kid you, shout out to Plenty of Fish. <laughs> shout out to POF back in the day. Theo said, I never paid for a woman. He's never paid a woman's rent or cost abroad. Abroad, In the U.S., it's the norm here. If I want a poor woman, I'll find an American woman. <laughs> Y'all some monsters. Y'all some monsters. <laughs> Mom, get that mask, man. He said, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Yeah, for real. For real. Some of you brothers got to stop playing. Get your eyebrows. You know, at least get to use the clippers to at least go over them. You ain't got to get them lined up if you don't want to. But at least get your, get the clippers to go over them, man. Some of y'all get hit in the face with an eye. Y'all think that was an eye, eyelash. No, that was an eyebrow. Some of y'all got eyebrows so long, man, y'all looking like the, the old man in the movie Up. Okay? Get that take care of, man. Some of y'all in y'all 40s, eyebrows looking like the old man in the movie Up. The animated movie. With the with the talking dog, y'all know what movie with the balloon is in the house. That's how your eyebrows looking. Come on now, you get that little thing. It's the little thing. Drizzlations one and one. If Jesus can't say, <laughs> he say well, for real. He say why you trying? Uh, why you trying? Why you trying? Why you trying to broke holes? need to be need to be wafted off i didn't get that one zeta you started off good but I, I i didn't get the last he said why are you trying to break why are you trying to broke girls need to be wafted off or waved off broke girls need to be waved off they should be waved off that shit that's that's straight up man I can't I can't remember the last time I got some unemployed coochie. I'm gonna say that again. I can't tell you the last time I got some unemployed coochie. Unemployed what? Well, I'm filling out applications. Filling out applications to me is like a person that's had a bunch of engagements. You ain't married yet. You, you ain't got a job. Oh no, nah, you don't need to be focusing on no sex over here, baby. You need to be focusing on a job. Let me go ahead and let you go. I can't remember the last time I had a chick that was unemployed. I don't care how fine she is. If you broke, if if you, I need I need somebody that was too tired. Babe, what you doing tonight? I'm tired, Andre. I just got off work. That was me. What you doing tonight, baby? Nothing, baby. I got you know. I got a study. I got I got term a term paper to do. I got an essay to do tonight. What you doing tonight, baby? You know, baby, I got to get up early in the morning for work. A chick with nothing. And I'm like, dude, I was like that in Colombia. Oh, don't think it was just United States. You think, oh, dude. see, y'all, y'all date sexy Brazilian and Colombians that ain't got no job. Not your boy. I wish the, I would. You think I'm gonna come from the States and never want to date an unemployed chick? You think I'm gonna come to Colombia and all of a sudden date unemployed chick? Yeah, y'all grab it at man. No. No, no, no. Just in case you guys ever wonder if I ever smash a chick with no job in Colombia. No, hell no. Y'all do that. That's what y'all do deal with broke bitches. Not me, not your boy. No, that's all right. I don't care if she had a job at McDonald's ice cream shop. You know how Colombians love ice cream. She got a job. But to be 100%, you ain't got nothing. You ain't in school. You ain't got no job. Oh, and I'm a, I'll leave them females for y'all. I'll leave broke bitches to y'all. Have at it. Me? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, for real. No broke hoes will have them all in their feelings. Yep. That's for real, brother. Preach. He said, and, and that's the, he said, that's the one thing men... Uh, he said one thing, man. He said that's all the Western women care about is that they care is that they care about a guy that makes six figures, having all this money, 
all these monies and all these nice cars and all this crappy stuff. Absolutely correct, Wade. And then when you get rid of them, guess what they're going back to? Their mama's house. I'm going to say this again. Women don't talk to women and tell them the truth about when you're dating a rich man and if he doesn't want you anymore. A lot of women move in with their rich man in his $4 million mansion. And he will kick you out four years later. And you moving back in with your mama. You moving back in with your mama because you thought that you hit the, the come up. You hit the lick. And so you didn't moved out your apartment three years ago to be in his multi-million dollar mansion. And he didn't kick your little happy tail to the curve. Absolutely correct. He said, give her that, that quasi moto <laughs> a thick thumb for real. <laughs> That's serious. That is serious. Grooming and appearance are a must, especially here in Colombia. It, Colombia, I'll say South America. I can say this safely about South America. South America is not hung up as much on brands as they are on fashion. Like if you're a person that's in the fashion, like you're, you're well-groomed, your T-shirt is ironed. Your slacks or your pants are ironed. You 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 got deodorant on. You've taken care of those nose hairs. Hint, hint, older guys. Us guys over 45, take care of that. Women do see that. Think of... Guys, we're talking about grooming. How tall are you? 5'10". 6'3". 6'4". What's the average height of the average woman that you guys going out with? Five, seven, five foot, five, five. She walk up on you. There go my baby. And all she see is a forest in your mother nostrils. Is they, they all hanging out like spider webs coming out of your nose. Man, if you don't get some little mini scissors and get and get a one of those mirrors that reflect right like the women use for their makeup, get one of those mirrors that reflect right in your and get the clipping. Some of y'all need lawn service, true green chem lawn, to come help you take care of that lawn that you got known as your nostrils. Some of y'all, they could y'all got so much grass in y'all nostrils, they could play the Super Bowl right now in your nostrils they could have the nfl combine running up and down the field doing a 40 yard dash and all that grass and grit iron you got in your nostrils you wonder why you snoring while you sleeping some of y'all can't no air get in man if you don't clip them damn nostrils you sitting up there thinking you super cool realize women gotta look up in your nose if she's shorter than you do, we're talking about grooming. I ain't gonna take all that. Yeah, you're gonna be one of them that will come out the money. Yeah, I can see that now. See, dudes that don't want to take care of their grooming, they don't want to take none of this advice. Them the ones that gotta pay for play. I said it. I ain't got to pay for you, but you still that's your habit, ain't it? I can stop if I wanted to. Sure you can. Sure you can. Take care of your eyebrows. Dudes, y'all over 50? You, you, you ready? That ear hair? Get those clippers that clean out the ears, bro. Get those ones that's like a circle. Yeah. Take that ear. That, that ain't cute either. That Yeah, women notice that here in South America. Just in case you wonder, women notice that. South American women care about a man's grooming don't give a fuck about your brand i got a fasashi shirt on okay cool that's cool i got the latest ibises on that's cool but if your eyebrows your nostrils your ears looking crazy looking like a forest fire come on man 
You got you you been fit. You in the gym. You looking all good. You all been to the gym. You got your tan on. You looking good. You got your Wesley Snipes tan going because you know they like the chocolate brothers. You walking through Colombia and you ain't got nothing but crazy looking ass eyebrows. And if a female walk up on you, she think like nine spiders about to crawl out your nostrils. And she looking at your ears as if mosquitoes have nested in your ear. And that ain't nothing but hair coming out. Your, dude, you got to take care of all that, bro. You an older man now. Us older. When you young, under 25, you ain't got to worry about all that. Your eyebrows are just right. Your hair, your nose hairs ain't growing yet. You ain't got nothing in your ears. Over 35? You, you might want to start taking care of that. Yeah. If you want to keep on smashing 20-year-olds. And when I mean 20s, I mean like 23, 24, 29s. Or you're going to be living in the pay-for-play realm. That's where you're going to be living. Do you know like the friend zone? You're going to be in the pay-for-play zone. Stay there for all eternity. Because any real woman in Colombia was, man, they, what? But I'm fit. I'm Yeah, you fit. And you might be able to smash it for a couple months. But I smash your cup, your sad, I smash your main chick for a couple of days. That's all I need it for. Remember how it used to be, bro. Y'all just, if y'all do not want to, if y'all never heard any tips from any YouTuber that used to smash the dog out of chicks that had a dude, you talking to one. I can give you the 411 on what women are really looking for from dudes, man. And that grooming is one of them. That ain't no lie. He he ain't lied about that one. I got more coochie many a day because I was well groomed, clean, smell good. I smashed many a co-worker in many ladies' rooms in closets because I smell good and I was well groomed. I ain't had no Gucci nothing on. Just because of the grooming. Literally. Y'all think I'm kidding. Literally. They dropping the panties because I was one of the few brothers that was well groomed. Some of y'all got the best brands, and you the you the dude. You looking crazy out here. You got a pocket full of money. You got the best bringing on, and you wonder why I can smash your chick at will. <laughs>